Well, I came upon a spot that was simply the most beautiful spot I'd ever seen in my life. And I said at that time, if I ever had the power, I would build a house there. I always wanted a house in the mountains. When I was a kid, I wanted a house in the mountains. And I said, if I ever get the chance, I'll build a house in the mountains. And then it came and I did. And I built it on a spot that to me was, as I said, the most beautiful spot I'd ever seen. Isaiah 62. For Zion's sake, will I not hold my peace? And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Thou shalt no more be termed forsaken, neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate. But thou shalt be called Ephsipa, and thy land Beulah. But the Lord delighteth in thee, and thy land shall be married. For as a young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. It was simply the most beautiful spot I'd ever seen in my life. So at the right hand of the Lord there are pleasures forevermore. So we can look at the earth today and there are still, even though this devil has destroyed and ruined the earth and polluted the world, polluted the air, polluted the waters, polluted the food and the people and everything and the earth itself, there are still places on earth that are so breathtaking and so beautiful, even though it's still tainted, but it's just so beautiful to look at. You know, being there can probably take off you know, or bring you back five, ten years, make you five or ten years younger, 15, 20 years younger, just by the presence, the aura of that place. So just imagine how much greater the kingdom is going to be when the Most High has on his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. You know, imagine how much greater and how much more beautiful the kingdom of heaven is going to be once it's established. You know, and these are things that we have to keep in mind because this is what we're fighting for.